join up to the strike force. I'm really looking forward to being down here for the next, hopefully, minimum six weeks, hopefully eight. Um, you know, I love Adelaide and I love playing Adelaide Oval, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. You know, we, we, we got together this week and uh, getting to know a few of the teammates, a lot of the guys I've played against, and a few of the uh, the imports have come in over the last few days, so it's uh, we just get to spend the last couple of days sort of um, you know, playing a few games, getting to know each other, and it's going really well at the moment. But we got together Monday, had a bit of a team bonding session, and then the last two or three days have been pretty serious uh, hit-outs and workouts. Yeah, it's very competitive. We had a really good trial game yesterday, um, you know, probably one of the better ones going around in terms of the intensity. So I'm, you know, the group's going really well at the moment. There's obviously going to be opportunities during the uh, during the tournament. You know, the, the guys are going really well at the moment, and Saka, or sorry, Adelaide have, uh, or previously Saka, have had really good uh, a batting lineup. So there's going to be opportunities there, and there's no doubt. And I suppose it's just being ready for, ready to take that opportunity when it when it comes. You know, um, you've got to be used to you know training as as in you're going to play every game. Uh, obviously, there's you know 19 doesn't fit into 11. So, but you know. We've got a pretty good batting lineup at the moment, and we've got some good depth as well. But we can learn from the young guys as well. So it's it's not sort of like a, it's it's all give and take. It's uh, you know you've got a team of guys from all different states as well, um, and different countries. So just tapping into that experience and, and what works for them, what doesn't work for them, it's uh, it's a wealth of uh, knowledge, I suppose. I'm focusing just on freelancing 2020 cricket. I think that's where my strength is at the moment. Um, and you know at the moment it's striker stuff, but I've also played a little bit in Bangladesh and all over the place. So. Um, and then, you know, there's also, uh, I've, I've got a business back home as well, so it's a good sort of transition. You know, I'd like to think that I can keep going for a couple of years uh, with 2020 cricket and sort of still offer a fair bit to, to Adelaide Strikers, hopefully. Being a freelance cricketer, you don't get access to the facilities that you once get back home, and, and if you're playing for an interstate team, you know, it's very hard to tap it to, to call Queensland Cricket up and say, can I come in and use your facilities, because, you know, you won't be playing for, for the Brisbane Heat. So, it's just a matter from a fitness point of view. It's, I suppose it's a little bit easier, because you've got, you've had that discipline for 10, 15 years of playing. So, it, but it is quite challenging to, to get the facilities, to get the, um, yeah, not only to get the facilities, to get the people behind you to help you sort of uh, practice. So, I'm using sort of this week to really sort of, you know, use the great facilities I've got down here and the people like, you know, Vaughnie and, and Joey and Chuck to, to get back into that sort of uh, routine that I was uh, used to, I suppose, over the last few years.